So here in our first example, we're given our position function, s of t, for t greater than or equal to zero, where s is measured in feet and t is measured in seconds. First, they want us to find the velocity and acceleration functions. So remember, velocity is the rate of change of your position. So v of t is the derivative of this position function, 4t cubed minus 16t. And my acceleration function is the rate of change or the derivative of my velocity, 12t squared minus 16. So when does the particle change direction? So direction is determined by our velocity, our positive or negative direction. So let's see, when is v of t equal to zero? Well, that's when 4t cubed minus 16t equals zero. I can factor out a 4t, and that leaves t squared minus 4 equals zero. So t equals zero, or plus or minus two seconds. So if I want to compare my position to its velocity, starting at time equals zero and two. Negative two doesn't make sense for time. So if I plug in one and two, my velocity function, I'll get a negative, which means I'm moving in the negative direction for my position. And then when above two, my velocity is positive. So I'm increasing, moving in the positive direction. So we see the particle changes from negative to positive direction at t equals two seconds. So make sure we're saying in detail when it's changing direction. So let's move on to the next video to finish this problem.